Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk more about genius brands and what exactly took place with the latest news updates on the um, Shaq's Garage uh, upcoming cartoon in 2022 and also with the share dilution. Before I get into this video, guys, please smash the like button because it really helps the channel. I want to thank you guys so much. Uh, you know, we're currently sitting at around 8,700 subscribers. So I want to thank everybody for just uh subscribing to my channel and supporting me so let's get right into the video guys so there's been a couple of news updates and you guys know i'm uh full disclosure i am a genius brand shareholder so i've basically been making a bunch of updates so as we can see here we're taking a look at the year-to-date charts so what i want to take a look at is i want to kind of take a look at the last couple of days so if we kind of look at the five-day chart we can see that the stock had been um going up actually it looked like we were going to test perhaps even a uh, dollar and uh, 75 or you know even a dollar and 80 cents and it looked like we had kindly tur uh, turned a corner looking at the five day chart and then um you know what's been happening over the course of kind of the towards the tail end of October uh, the stock market has co completely crashed uh, a bit a lot of people very worried about a second wave pandemic effect so a lot of people were kind of dumping stocks and moving into some other uh, moving into cash and things like that and then all of a sudden, uh, the stock just fell off a cliff. Uh, it just completely dropped. So what exactly happened here was that uh, Genius Brands had a share offering. So uh, first, I want to talk about the Shax Girl. The first thing I want to do is address the share offering. So what the share offering basically is, is uh, I believe a couple months ago, uh, CEO Andy Hayward for Genius Brands, uh, he had a, a shareholder meeting. And if you guys have been following any of my videos in the past about Genius Brands, you know that I kind of walked you guys through where I was voting uh, for the shareholder meeting. And basically the proxy vote was asking to increase the amount of uh, outstanding shares from around 270 million to 400 million. So of course that was approved uh, by shareholders. So what this does is, is it basically gives Genius Brands the ability to issue more shares to raise capital. So to kind of go over to the press release and explain you guys exactly what's going on here is the actual press release from the website. So as you can see here, it says Genius Brands International announces $58 million registered direct offering. So to, just to keep things uh, short, basically, as you can see here, uh, it gives them the ability to uh, sell around 37.4 million shares at a purchase price of $1.55 to basically raise around $58 million in capital. So the reason they did this was simply to raise money. And one of the reasons is, is that they're planning on producing a new car upcoming cartoon called Shaq's Garage. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about that later in the video, but I kind of wanted to just address this uh, because this kind of uh, was took the biggest effect on the stock. But they also issued warrants. So as you can see here, investors will receive warrant to purchase one share of each common stock. The warrants will be exercisable immediately, have a term of five years, and exercise price of $1.55 sense so to kind of explain this guys uh companies they do share offerings when they think the stock price uh has gone up a bit and they want to raise cash to kind of you know fund the business uh to pay for things as you can see here they use the financing for development production distribution marketing of content including shacks garage and associated li license merchandise and working capital so this isn't shouldn't be a shock um you know and with this type of market you really just can't expect stocks to just run up um, permanently there's always going to be ebbs and flows and that's exactly what we're seeing here so in the short term it's it's really frustrating because it looked like the stock was heading towards two dollars finally um, you know Google uh, as I'm recording this video Google just had an explosion in um, advertising revenue for Q3 so that that's a good sign if Google's making a lot of money with advertising revenue that means that other companies that stream content online if you guys didn't know Google owns YouTube so that's why I'm kind of mentioning this so the fact that YouTube uh, advertising revenue was doing good that's good for all of these streamers including genius brands but the problem is is that obviously the dilutive effect means that now uh, as a shareholder you know assuming you didn't buy more shares you now own a, a smaller percentage of the company so that usually causes the price to drop so as we can see here the price has come back down if we kind of take a look at a longer term view we can see that we're kind of it looks like we're heading back down to previous levels but around this level around one dollar that's just above the nasdaq stock uh, that's right above the nasdaq minimum stock price so i think this is a wonderful buying opportunity i don't expect genius brands to uh basically uh dip below this um 
you know, level, especially where they have some new high profile investors coming in. And that's exactly what I'm going to talk about right now. Okay. So the other big news that's taking place, um, like, like I said, you can get all this information. If you go to genius brands, investor relations, it says NBA legend Shaquille O'Neal to star an executive and executive produce a new animated children's cities, Shaq's garage. So this is kind of some of the other exciting news that's come about. And because of this partnership, Shaq has actually become an investor in the company so if you just quickly read it it says um you know abg entertainment a division of global brand marketing today announced that all new animated comedy action adventure series for kids shaq's garage starring shaquille o'neal the series will be executive produced by shaq genius brands prp and abg through the partnership shaq o'neal is also becoming a shareholder in genius brands so um you know the first the high the highest profile a shareholder was arnold schwarzenegger and now we have shaquille o'neal so for some of you guys that aren't for, uh, uh, familiar with Shaquille O'Neal, he's a super famous basketball player. He used to play uh, with the Los Angeles Lakers alongside Kobe Bryant. They won three NBA championships together. And then Shaq ended up uh, going to uh, Miami Heat. And then he wanted uh, another NBA championship with Dwayne Wade as well. So, okay, so here's a little bit more information about Shaq. Uh, he actually is a sports analyst right now. On inside the NBA on TNT and he's actually one of the biggest basketball players ever uh, he sits at seven foot one and 325 pounds and I actually met Shaquille O'Neal uh, during the 2001 NBA all-star game in Washington DC and I would say he's the biggest person I've ever seen in my life I mean obviously I was probably 13 or 14 years old at the time but you know I gave uh, Shaq a fist uh, a fist bump and he was like literally standing uh, in the elevator next to his agent and he literally like it just felt like he took up the entire elevator so you know uh Shaq's a really nice guy you know uh he, you know he uh you know I actually asked him to autograph my ball but he said he didn't have enough time so he just gave me a fist bump so ever since that I kind of met him uh years ago uh during the all-star game I always thought that he was a really smart guy and little be known Shaq is actually quite the investor he's actually one of the early investors in Google so he actually invested in Google before it went public. So he's made a ton of money, uh, not just playing basketball, but through smart investments. So the fact that Shaq is interested in this company and is willing to become a shareholder, I think that's a huge, huge long-term bullish signal because I just can't imagine this guy, uh, you know, getting involved with a company that's just, uh, you know, not worth dealing with or just low quality. I mean, he already has a ton of money. If we take a look at Shaq's net worth, Okay, so we're not really sure exactly how accurate these numbers are, obviously, but, you know, this is probably just for entertainment purposes, but, you know, they say Shaq's net worth is $400 million. We don't exactly know what it is, but Shaq is definitely one of the richest athletes ever, uh, you know, where most NBA players go broke after two or three years, maybe 75% of NBA players go broke after two or three years. Uh, the fact that Shaq has basically uh, built up a reputation himself. He also has some other investments going on as well. Uh, he's launching, I believe he's launching a SPAC company uh, later this year. And I'll show you, just talk a little bit more about that. Here you go. So it says on Business Insider, it says Shaquille O'Neal, former Disney executives and Martin Luther King Jr. target $250 million SPAC launch. So, um, yeah, they're planning, their, their company is called First Road Acquisitions Corp. And basically, like you've seen a flood of, you know, special purpose acquisition companies come this year uh, the same the same way that uh, Nikola Motors went public DraftKings a lot of companies went public this way uh, Shaq is getting involved in the SPAC so they're planning on looking towards acquiring another company and merging with them together to bring that company uh, public so they're gonna raise around 250 million dollars so this guy's a smart guy you know he's not gonna you know waste his time and invest in something that isn't worth it. Uh, he's got a lot of things going on. You know, he invested in Google. He's got another spec uh, with Forest Road Acquisitions Corp, raising a ton of money, looking to uh, merge with a different company. So um, obviously, he sees something long term, and that's another thing about Shaq. Shaq is a long term thinker. He's not looking to get rich overnight. He's already rich. Um, you know, he really doesn't need to get involved with Genius Brands at all. So the fact that he's in the fact that he's, uh, you know, getting involved and in, in, in becoming a shareholder in his company, he's obviously sees a lot of long term value. And that's what I would say about um, Genius Brands in general. As you can see here, the cartoon Shaq's Garage is slated to premiere in 2022. So we won't see uh, any of the reap any of the benefits from this content for a year or so. 
But the fact that Shaq is investing and in, in picked up warrants at a dollar and fifty-five cents, he obviously believes that the company is going to be worth more than that five years from now. So that's really one of the things that I think about Genius Brands. Okay, so now I want to talk about where I think it's going long term. And I think that, you know, obviously it's been very frustrating to be a Genius Brand shareholder. This one stock is the majority of the losses on my long term portfolio. Uh, if you guys have been following my channel, you know we've uh, done pretty much very good with most of the stocks that I've talked about on here. Probably the, the couple of stocks that I would say uh, suffered the biggest losses would probably be uh, Genius Brands and Aurora Cannabis. Um, so obviously Aurora Cannabis has just been crushed this year along with all of the other cannabis stocks due to just increased competition and just uh, oversupply of um, cannabis in the industry and Genius Brands. So these two stocks have kind of been the thorn in my side and you know it, it for me it I think about selling and dumping it but I'm just trying to to remain long term here because I know we're not going to see uh, the major gains in this company overnight this is a long term hold and the fact that Shaq came on I think that just I mean I was already in where Arnold Schwarzenegger is in but the fact that Shaq is in now I'm, I'm it's like doubling uh, my confidence in the company because Shaq is it's going to become a major player I think in the um, you know in the investment world in this decade, uh, the fact that he's taking a SPAC public, uh, that's just a huge vote of confidence. I don't expect Shaq to kind of ruin his reputation over getting involved with this company, and the fact that he's involved with many other, uh, you know, he's just an overall fun-loving, positive guy. He's a winner. He won NBA championships with Kobe Bryant. He invested in Google. Um, he has a great track record. So this could help. Genius Brands a ton, and also it allows Genius Brands to access something very coveted nowadays, which is social media presence. So, uh, if you take a look at Twitter, so you guys, you guys can follow me at Twitter at um, just at Investor Trip. You see here, Shaq is fifteen million followers on social media, and he just tweeted about his 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 upcoming cartoon. So I think that's really important for Genius Brands in general. If you can partner with celebrities and things like that, you access. Um, their social media accounts and that's exactly what we saw a lot of companies doing with the Kardashian I think it's the Kardashian effect I think if you have a good so strong social media presence and companies can partner with you then they can kind of access that presence and while Shaq obviously doesn't play basketball anymore he doesn't play basketball for a while now over a decade he still has 15 million followers on um, Twitter and obviously a lot of these followers have children who can watch his cartoons so just overall awesome news for genius brands and i mean the dilutive effect i think is a short-term hit i think that this is a great buying opportunity so long term i still maintain my price target of over ten dollars long term i think that this stock is going to follow a similar path that neo did just you know had great hype got crushed and then now as you see neo is over thirty dollars so congrats for you guys that also bought neo stock i mentioned neo stock when it was around two dollars you guys have been following my channel so that's it for now guys hope you enjoyed this update video on genius brands my advice is just to continue to buy build a position while the shares are just under a dollar you know if this stock heads up to five dollars or so like that you're going to be really kicking yourself if you didn't pick it up at one dollar because you, the best time to buy a stock is really when no one else is confident in it and then you know, the worst time to buy it is when everybody's confident in it and that the price has gone so high so that's it for now guys hope you enjoyed my video please smash the red subscribe button for more content on genius brands and i say other uh, stocks like this where i think have a lot of long-term potential uh streaming is here to stay so the fact that Shaq is on board now huge 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 vote of confidence and those uh dollar 55 cent warrants that Shaq picks up obviously he thinks they're going to be worth a lot more in the next five years so he'll probably exercise those and convert those into shares so that's it for now guys hope you enjoyed this video until next time take care